Art is about play. You are more honest when you are playing. If I'm too serious, I don't think anything comes out. The more you freedom you have to play, the better it is for you. If art is about life, then life is not a, a fixed thing. The artwork should be or in a form that is capable of changing you know, itself. Eventually led to things like this. People do react to my works. You know, I did, most times I get letters from uh, people after they've seen my works. They make sure they get my address somewhere, <laughs> right? That the works have moved them. I don't write back to ask, wow, how did it move you? And it's maybe I should be doing that. <laughs> you know? And I think that art is about communication. You know, it's not something that you do and it's for you alone. But it's you are, when you exhibit, you have come out. At times it's difficult to, to talk about work when it is very fresh. You know, it's, it's still, you're still uh, digesting and like behind the earth shedding its skin. In Ghana, we have uh, uh, this uh, practice whereby people uh, uh, do illegal mining, you know, and, and they so destroy the earth. I, I have a feeling that uh, the earth is losing its, uh, its uh, <laughs> skin. So you can look at it literally that way. My uh, studio is in a rural uh, setting and therefore uh, it's possible to get people who would be willing to volunteer to come and help. On a good day, they could be up with 40. It could be cutting and joining, you know, into a straight line. Yeah, just as, as you can see here, you might be doing a, take a line like that and keep going, or another color and keep going, and, and then at the end of them, I put it together and, and we have think we have something showing up. Initially, as an artist, I thought that I should be the one doing everything. Cathedrals weren't built by, <laughs> by the architects. Since I'm working with forms which are not fixed, you want to give them scope to be able to do more things than. If it's small, there's very, there's very little uh, scope to what you can do with it. But on this scale, this can contract into, say, an area like this and it's a different feel. The individuality of each piece is lost and is subjected now to the generality of a bigger form. So you can do so many things with it. You can fold it, you know, they travel very easily and uh, because they can fold like a uh, regular, this thing, and go into a small box and travel. And they are very lightweight. And that's something I've worked with, uh, the idea of uh, the nomadic aesthetic, <laughs> you know. You let the fact that you need a work to be light and transportable be your challenge. For a long time, uh, it's been an uphill task for the rest of the world to believe that art happens everywhere. <laughs> you know? uh, some time ago, it was like, okay, art is only in Europe <laughs> or in the West. The whole world has woken up. You know, time has opened up, or time is opening up. Then. Uh, there is need for artists from those places to also come and show what, you know, the, what richness the world has, yeah, which has been shut out for a long time. What I advise a young artist is just to do it. The golden rule is there are no rules. As an artist, 
I think your worth is determined by how you can operate without rules. <laughs>